All right, we're here in round one, and our opponent is not quite with us yet, so this will just be a second. All right, our opponent is with us now, and we are on the draw. We have Intangible Virtue and a removal spell. I think this hand is satisfactory on the draw. It's, it's pretty low, but we have, I believe, uh, 16 token cards. Maybe it's 15 token cards that we could draw. That's a pretty good amount. Um, I think I'm going to keep this. Any sort of uh, token card off the top would be really good. Let's see, I think this hand is decent. What are we up against? White. Oh, maybe it's a black-white tokens deck, just like us. Alright. Another pump effect. Ah, definitely a token stack. All right. Well, we can stop the intangible virtue that he's probably going to follow it up with. Um, but we are going to play virtue ourselves. Alright. Evolving Wilds. Not the best top deck we could have gotten. Uh, we're going to play it. We're going to play Honor. And we're going to pass turn. Alright. Well. Hero Blade Hold definitely has to go down. We'll get another Black Source here. Oops. Hero myself. Alright. Uh, we still have to take out his hero first. Well, this hand that we kept looks significantly worse because he played better cards than we did. But, that's alright. If we get this hero blade hold out, next turn we get the vault and we'll be looking pretty clearly like we got victory. However, if he does have a pump effect of any sort, I think we're dead. Oh, we're definitely dead. So, honor or virtue and it's game over. Yes. His hand was certainly better than ours. Certainly, certainly better. It looks, the hand that I kept looks much less like a keep now. <laughs> Alright, so we've got to hit our uh, day off the top or dead. I guess timely works. Yeah, actually, timely plus blood artist. That's pretty good. Next turn, Vault of the Archangel, and then hopefully we're right back in this. Yeah, any sort of pump effect off the top and we're toast. But if we can survive here, we'll be good. In fact, I go as far as saying we survive this and think it's going to be game. Yep. Alright. Got shots, not bad. 
Okay, so we attack. Let me get our pumps. All right. I think we gut shot here. Not the best main deck against this deck, but Blood Artist is going to do some work for us, so saves us damage as early as possible. And I mean, we look like we're in pretty good shape. God, he's got more action. Timely again. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do it this time. Well, actually, let me think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, yeah, I think I actually do the timely. I've still got the Doom Blade. Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Still, just any sort of pump effect off the top, and we're going to be toast. I mean, it's bound to happen eventually here. Otherwise, he's going to be in rough shape. Yeah, I think we just take 10. Save the Doom Blade for a Hero Blade Hold or something like that. Hmm. Alright. Still gonna be gaining. Alright, he just gave up to us there. Uh. That's cool. Glad we got that. So, what do we do in the tokens match? Uh, Blood Artist, the other one has to come in. So what's bad? Let's, let's find out what's bad against our opponent here. I don't like gut shots. This match. I don't particularly like spot removal. I do like oblivion ring, and I like timely. Um, and I definitely like the heroes. Oh, so I'm already good. Is there anything else? Do I want more spot removal? Is there anything else that's weak against him? I suppose. No, I mean this looks like it's set up pretty good for this mirror match here. The Blood Artists are insane in this match and the Oblivion Rings cover all the big threats like Hero and uh, Intangible Virtue which he's surely playing. Um, I'm not convinced yet if he's going to be playing Champ of the Parish or anything like that so I still don't think the gut shots are very good. I don't really like spot removal all that much and since I'm already main decking a couple I don't think they're necessary. I think this is going to be pretty well set up against our opponent, so let's try this. See what kind of hand we get. Um, this hand uh, this hand will work. I'll keep this. I mean, we don't do quick starts, but we're fixing both colors. We've got a two drop. It's decent. Alright. This is where we'll see if that 21st land will make the difference. Did not get a black mana. A little bit confused by that. Alright, so we'll get our swamp. Land there was excellent. So we'll definitely still play our gather here.
Alright, we've got the Oblivion Ring for that, so I'm not uh, too terribly worried about it. He's low on cards left in hand, which is good. We've got Timely, which is good. This looks alright. So, we attack. Um, yeah, I think we do the Oblivion Ring now. Another honor. Alright, a little bit troublesome. So, now we're in a position where we have to slam our timely, start doing some catch up here. This buys, buys us some time though, which is good. Just gotta get that blood artist online and I'll feel a lot better about this situation. Alright. So we make some bad trades. Still, he's only got one card left in hand, so I really just need to catch up to him here. Just need to get caught up. I've got the tools to do it. There we go. So we now we attack. Let's see if he plays the Midnight Haunting. He does indeed. This guy definitely had a bomb hand this game. Um, all the credit in the world to him for that. Thankfully, next turn, after we eat, what, eight, we get to play Honor ourselves. And he has the Hero Blade Hold? God, he is not making this easy for us. Not at all, sir. What is the plan? Can I afford to take eight? Because next turn... Yeah, because if I get a land off the top, then we're looking a lot better. So I'm going to take eight here. Land off the top is pretty much central. That was good. All right, so I think what we do is, yeah, we do honor. And we have to kill the hero. And um, I've got the lingering souls. Yeah, I think we actually start swinging. Now it's a race. Because I don't feel like blocking the Doom Traveler is going to do that much for us. And we've got the Midnight Haunting. So if we get a land next turn, we can do Midnight Haunting plus we can do Blood Artist. That'll save us some life. Alright. So now... Just attack for two... He's definitely getting some value here, but we're not left with a ton of options. Land there. If I'd had that land that last turn, that would have made this block insane. Insane. He would have just been dead. But instead, it's a little bit worse. But we still get another opportunity, because he's going to have some Doom Travelers coming online here. Hopefully he still doesn't have a play. Oh, he does. Another hero? Come on, don't do that. That's mean. And I get my own hero, but way too late. Yeah, we're so dead, it's not funny. That sucks. Why do you have to get two hero blade holds? Alright, well, his draws were uh, really, 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 really impressively good, and I was unable to keep up, so um, I suppose I'll just past turn. I'm so dead. That sucks. It's kind of disappointing. But, you know, sometimes you don't get the best draws and sometimes your opponent gets some pretty damn good ones. So, uh, hopefully us being on the play will be a tremendous advantage. 
and uh, we're able to uh, see as many good cards as our opponent is. We can only hope. Alright, so we're dead. Let's go to game three. I think we're just going to keep the sideboard plan the same. Um, maybe I do want more spot removal since he sees Hero Blade Hold so frequently. I feel like this is satisfactory though. No, I think this is the best setup for him, honestly. There's nothing that's really weak against him here, and we just really need to see the cards, and we're fine. So, let's see if we can see the cards. Yeah, we'll play first. Um, yes, this hand is actually really, really good. If we get this, hopefully into this for full value, and then our opponent will be in trouble. I mean, our opponent plays uh, Doom Traveler, so it puts us in a good position. If he had played it there, it would have put us in a really good position to play a turn three timely for full value, but um, instead we're just going to play Honor. Which I think is fine. Alright, no play. Misses land drop. That's good for us. Um, yeah, we play the Blood Artist here for sure. Pass the turn. So, we just gotta get this uh, Hero Blade Hold online and we're looking way better. If he plays Lingering Souls here, I'll still do Timely for half value. That's... I mean, the value that you get out of it's insane enough, so I don't really care. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to O-ring his O-ring, because he's going to do it to the honor, yeah. That's alright. Uh, if I get a land off the top, I'll play the hero, and then he's hopefully just, I mean, ideally just dead at that point. That'd be tough for him to come back from, I would assume. Alright, well, we didn't get it. And we're in a kind of awkward spot here. really want him to play like a Lingering Souls or whatever, not a Hero Blade Hold, but alright, well, I gotta kill that. Thankfully I have the means to do it. There's the land. Alright. Um, I think we're doing the same plan as before. No reason to let him stick around, although... No, it's O-Ring. Let's just, uh... We've got the means to beat him with our hero, and we're just seeing O-Ring for days, so... As long as we can keep that pace up, let's do it. Alright, sweet. So now we can actually play timely, but I think I definitely am more interested in playing the hero here. I mean, if you get an attack in with hero, it's pretty much game over. Um, I'm going to guess Tragic Slip, so I'm not going to block. Because the fact that we have Vault Online, yeah, you don't block. You just take them out. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, we have the Blood Artist, so at least we're getting the full value of it, but it's a little bit unfortunate. I mean, we've got the Vault of the Archangel out, though, so that gives us kind of a distinct advantage. I'm just going to start deck thinning a little bit here. Yeah, that was a great top deck.
and we have the vault so this is going to help tremendously see if he's got another day that's not really doing much of anything against us so got that going for us um, I feel like just vaulting for full value just get a ridiculous amount of life it's, it can put you ahead so much that there's really no way you can come back from it you know and it makes it so we don't have to commit cards to the board that doesn't really matter So if he plays tokens here, we can do timely, and I would just do it, get the three tokens. Plus we could still do midnight haunting after that. So if he plays any sort of token generator here, we're looking fine. I mean, preferably not lingering souls, because the card is so, so good. But, right, well, he beats us with anthem effects now. And gather, all right. So you start with the timely, and then you go to the midnight haunting on his turn. Let's just do that. Get the full value here. Or not full value, but full creature value. And ideally we just have him dead next turn with our midnight haunting. So we take the eight, and I believe we kill him with the Midnight Haunting here. He could have drawn a Midnight Haunting, so we'll see if he's got it. Um, nice thing is we can attack with everything, because we've got the Vault. Whoa! Sorry about that. You know how those motorcycle enthusiasts are. Looks like he did indeed draw Midnight Haunting. Alright, well, we've still got the Vault of the Archangel, which is giving us a distinct advantage in this match. It's like forcing him to make awkward kind of blocks. Got a gather to follow it up with. I mean, we're still looking pretty good. Alright, got round one. Uh, glad we could beat the mirror match, that's awesome. Uh, I'll see you round two.